I caught you. What are you doing here? Hmm, by the way, nice task lamp. Where from? TME, honey. TME. If you're still not sure what this video is all about, then it's about task and workbench lamps. What makes them so special? What types of bench lamps are there? And why you think you don't need one? Subscribe, like and check our other videos on our channel. One of the most interesting phenomena in the universe is light. Is it a wave or a particle or both? Can we travel faster than light? The light makes our sky blue, the sun yellow and the trees green. And the light here is not a unit of time. From another perspective, light can change our mood. A cozy environment is nothing without the warm white light, but use it in the office and you will get tired and sleepy workers. Before the ambient and the street lighting that we have today, people used candles and oil lamps. You can consider them as the first task light with which people could work, write and read in a pleasant manner. Well, if they knew how to read and write, of course. Then came the gaslight era. Pipes were distributed under the cities and carried gas to manufacturers, streets and houses, with which you could light up a gas chandelier in your La Fouillier, Le Perlo or Le Salle Rougie. So some fancy words for a lobby, reception and a dining room. But you do not need to go as far as 1900s. Just go to a kitchen with a gas stove and try to light it up with a match without burning your fingers. Not only was it hot, it was dangerous and after some time the pipes were leaking, people suffocating and fires spreading out, all until the electricity. As the availability of electricity increased, the lighting of workspaces changed dramatically and task lights were replaced with overhead fixtures like fluorescent lights. From the efficiency point of view, it was cheaper but not very healthy. Only the combination of both can produce energy-efficient and visually comfortable lighting. If you think of it, there are a lot of things that can influence the lighting of your working area. In the office, for example, the light changes as time goes by, or whether it is cloudy or sunny. You also change your posture from sitting to standing or whatever this is. The lights from the ceiling are not perfect as well. They might create shadows at one point and glare in another, resulting in uneven lighting. Except in TME, here we take lights very seriously. Those lights are evenly spread, the intensity is automatically controlled, they have a flicker-free function and save energy. Of course, one can say you should conserve energy. Look at all the LEDs that we have from the outside. Yeah, well, not really. They are actually very efficient. As the light changes and you change your viewing angle, your eyes have to adjust to the new settings throughout the day. To solve it, you can mount a task lighting on your desk. Basically, task lighting is used in any field where visual work is done. It focuses the correct amount of light and temperature on a specific area. This makes every small detail visible and allows you to see clearly what you're doing. Just imagine a dentist tinkering in your teeth without the task lighting or a jeweler selling you a fake diamond. You will end up without teeth and without the girl. With proper task lighting, you can increase your productivity, maintain your workflow, reduce eye strain and year ergonomic, economic and environmental benefits. Here are a few options for those desk lamps available in TME. Adjustable arm light, gooseneck arm light, under cabinet lights, workstation magnifiers and others. The gooseneck task lights are easily adjustable and they usually provide focus lighting, very useful for jewelry. Here we have a flexible tube lamp from Waldman. Those are very efficient, they have a very high IP ratings, high color rendering index and come in a neutral white temperature, 5000 Kelvin. This gives you a crisp white, which is perfect for inspection and precise work. The next one you might know from a well-known animation studio, the adjustable arm workstation lights. These lights have a longer reach and hold their position better than gooseneck arm lights, especially around vibrations. The E35611 from Daylight is equipped with a wide shade of 120 SMDs for evenly spread light over a large area. It has a long heavy-duty arm with reinforced joints and covers. The lamp can reach for more than a meter and the multi-position head enables you to direct the light wherever it is needed. Other features include three brightness levels. The light temperature is 6000 Kelvin. It consumes only 24 volts with an output of 1566 lumens. 
and it is made of special carbon fiber conductive coating that guarantees full ESD compliance. It is perfect for testing circuit boards and any other sensitive components. The under cabinet lights have a low profile and they stay out of sight when mounted, ideal for the kitchen when the ceiling light just doesn't provide enough lights for work, especially with knives. Stop the finger cutting and install under cabinet LEDs. By the way, those you can do by yourself. Stay tuned for future tutorials. As an example, we have the Taneo Bench Desk Lamp. This sort of lamp is not exactly for the kitchen, but for electronics industry and assembly lines for large-scale productions. This energy-efficient LED lamp is made of aluminium and is coated with ESD material. It can be rotated 360 degrees and can be continuously dimmed by holding the button. Make sure to order the mounted accessories as well. As an adult, you might have gone through the procedure of purchasing glasses. Not sunglasses, but vision correction product. And then you were amazed how well you could see. Like the screen resolution suddenly went up from 240 to 4K. So if you are one of the 4 billion adults that wear glasses, you should check the task lighting with a magnifier. Mind you, this is not only for Google Eyes. Here is a pretty standard magnifying lamp from Daylight, the E25030. And by the name, you can already tell it comes with three and five diopter lenses. This three diopter means it brings parallel rays of light to focus at one third of the meter. The higher the power of the bench magnifier lens, the closer you might get to the object being viewed and the smaller the field of view becomes. There are also other lighting options available in TME. If you want more information about it, let us know. So, I hope you get how crucial this is to have your work lit up and to take care of your eyes properly. Thank you for watching.